With the release of LaserGene 10, you can now assemble and analyze your Pacific Biosciences sequencing data using SeqMan Engine and SeqMan Pro. For this example, I'm going to assemble PacBio sequencing data from a novel E. coli strain against a reference sequence for another strain of E. coli. So to get this set up in SeqMan Engine, first launch the program from the navigator. And then we're going to select Create New Assembly Project, Genome Assembly. In this case, we'll use Templated Assembly Normal Workflows. Then I just need to name my project and navigate to my project folder. The next step is to load my template files. As I mentioned, we're going to be assembling data from a novel E. coli strain, but we're going to use another E. coli sequence as the reference. This will allow me to see differences between the two genomes. So I'm going to load GenBank files for the E. coli 55989 genome and plasmid. Now I need to input my sequence files. You'll notice that all of the buttons on this page are grayed out, and that's because we first need to select our read technology. So to do that, just select Pack Bio from this dropdown, and now we can add our sequences. Here I'm going to load this FASTQ file with corrected reads. However, you can also load Pack Bio HDF5 files. And then click Next. And here I'm presented with some assembly options. Now, SeqMan Engine has already optimized these options for a PacBio templated assembly, so I don't need to change anything here. Instead, I'll just click Next, and here I have a preview of my script, and from the screen, I can click Assemble. Once the assembly is complete, you can open it in SeqMan Pro to see the results. After opening my file in SeqMan Pro, I see from the project summary window that there are two contigs, one for each template sequence we loaded. And we can look at these contigs in more detail by double clicking to open the alignment view. And this shows all the reads that align to my template sequence. I can also go to contig strategy view to see a graphical representation of coverage along the contig. Since my template is actually a different strain of E. coli than what was sequenced, I'm interested in looking at differences from the template sequence. There are a couple of places we can look for this in SeqMan Pro. The first is the SNP report. And here you can see all of the single nucleotide polymorphisms, including insertions and deletions that were found in this assembly. We can filter this report by minimum SNP percentage, depth of coverage, as well as distance to the closest coding feature. Another place to look at differences from the reference sequence is the structural variation report. You can find this report in the contig menu. And this shows areas of large insertions or deletions from the reference sequence. And I find it helpful to look at this report at the same time as the strategy view. So for example, here you can see that this region, labeled as a deletion, has little to no coverage. And also notice this pink histogram. This is showing the frequency of split reads, or reads that map to more than one location. And the pileup of split reads on either side of this deletion indicates that this part of the template sequence is in fact missing from the strain that was sequenced. Finally, the strategy view also shows us what genes are annotated in the reference genome at this position. So those might be genes we want to look at in a little more detail. If you have further questions about assembling PAC bio data in SeqMan Engine, or any other questions about our software, please visit our website, dnastar.com, or contact us at support at dnastar.com.